Don't yield yourself to that stuff. Don't yield your, your members, your body, your hands, your feet, your, your mind. Don't, don't you yield to sin. Even though you're dead to it, you can resurrect it. The scripture said, amen. The scripture said, choose to say who you're going to serve. So it's up to you. You can let sin die in your life, or you can resurrect it by yielding to your human desire. See, he said, to, to whom you hear yourself, that's who you serve. Whether it's unto God or to sin, it's your choice. <laughs> so, that tells me something. Now, this is a deep revelation right here. So deep, you ain't going to be able to hear <laughs> The devil can't make you do nothing. That's there, man. <laughs> <laughs> the devil has no power over you. You have to yield to him. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that simple? <laughs> yeah. I'm the old Flip Wilson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's that scripture, Galatians 2 or 20? Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ that liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, in this body, yeah. I live by the faith of the Son of God who loves me and gave himself for me. Yeah. Verse 21, I do not frustrate the grace of God. For if righteousness come by the law, then Christ died in vain. So Paul said, he said, man, I'm crucified. I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. That lives in me. He said, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Paul said, that's what I live by. He said, I live by the faith of the Son of God. Amen. So this faith that I have, how many know it comes from Jesus? Man wasn't born with faith. Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yes. Ooh, I repeat that. Ooh, my back got <laughs> stiff that time. I repeat that thing. <laughs> Ooh, that devil is a lie. Ooh. Anyway, let's read, let's read just the last scripture here. Romans 8, verse 1. Y'all know this by heart. We're going to read to verse 2. There is therefore now no condemnation. To thee, which are in Christ Jesus. Why there is no condemn condemnation? To those that are in Christ Jesus. This why. Who walk, not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Condemnation comes from your flesh. The spirit of God will not condemn you. Now, if I make a mistake, I ought to have some remorse. I ought to have uh, another. And if I mistreat you, I'll, 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 uh, Lord, Lord, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. Some people say, well, ain't no condemnation. Well, I, I, I ain't got no remorse for nobody. They will treat you. you know, I'll get you, man. You know, but, but when, you, when, when you're hard, when, when you walking in the spirit, and then you got a soft heart, you forgive. You don't walk in hatred and all that kind of stuff. You, you forgive people. You know, and God don't condemn you, make you go home and you cry all night because you messed up. That's the devil. You ought to repent, get up, and allow the Holy Spirit to help you. People mess up and they quit coming to church. And they go do like Adam, they go hide <laughs> behind all the trees. You know, it, it, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> so some people, they'll come to a word church or a church where the spirit is at, and when they can't handle it, they'll go back to religion where they can hide behind all the trees, <laughs> you know, uh, where they ain't got to do nothing, where they ain't got to, you know, because they can't handle the pressure. They can't handle the pressure of, 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 of the truth. <laughs> so they go back and they jump in their little groups. 
you know, well, if I go back over here, all us, they, they doing it, so it ain't going to get it better. But the Bible said, to whom much is given, much is required. You got it. If you go back to where you come from, you ain't going to be at peace. I can't, I can't do it. Somebody asked me a few weeks ago, they said, why you don't do this? Why you don't do that? I said, hey, why? Why would I? They ain't got nothing to give me. <laughs> I'm just being honest. And I got to get out of there. I got to pray God help me. And I said, Lord, I just can't stand that dead. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> I need something that got the spirit that got the anointing. Yes. You know, that's been fun. I know we gotta be merciful, and, you know. But, but Jesus, I said, let's give it to go home. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus, the law of the life of the Spirit. So it's the law of the life of the Spirit in Christ Jesus. Listen to this. Has made free from the law of sin and death. Yes, yes, yes. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh. God sent his son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin Condemn sin in the flesh. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled. Listen to this. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us. Who walk, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So the way that the righteousness of the law is fulfilled in us, it comes through the spirit. That's what, that's what God tried to get people to see. If you walk in the spirit, you ain't going to have no problem walking in righteousness. That's right. <laughs> but if you walk in your carnal mind and after your flesh, you're going to struggle to the day you die. So we got to get to that place where we're learning how to yield, where we're learning how to walk in the spirit of God. Because to be spiritual minded is what? Life and peace in Christ Jesus. Amen. Lord, I want to walk in peace. I want to walk in righteousness. I want to walk in the spirit of the Lord. And so tonight,